Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your June Romance reading for 2020. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the weekly and then you most probably have uh, heard that there will be uh, a competition started in a couple of weeks and to keep an eye on the website or an, and the community tab. Um, if you haven't, then I suggest that you go and have a look at your weekly. And welcome back if you're a cyber angel and thank you very much for your faithful following and sharing and liking. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be kept informed on when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I do give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a super sticker or a super chat. If you would like an extensive reading one on one then please don't hesitate to contact uh, me and you can find all the contact details below this video in the description box. In every video under the video there is a description box and there you'll find all kinds of information. If you don't know then click on the white dot just there in the corner on the right hand side in the top right hand side and there you will find a white circle with an eye and click on that and it will take you to the website. Okay so welcome if you're new to the channel Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you will enjoy the reading remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign okay I can't wait to get started with the competition and I'll be making the whole video on what to do and what is expected and what the rules are this coming week so uh, okay uh, Pisces you have the first card is the ten of wands you might be carrying a heavy load at the moment or you might be going through the walls or you might have just come through the walls and have already started the new beginning as a ten is an end and it becomes a one where there is an end there's also a beginning Wow, you must have some backache. <laughs> well, some of you might have backache because you've been doing too much like spring cleaning, for example, or worrying about the situation at hand, which is COVID-19, of course, we all know that. In most countries, the, uh, the borders are opening up again, slowly but gently, and, and uh, with certainty then we have the moon and this is you Pisces so you're in your full element you have the moon so keep on listening to that intuition of yours and keep those emotions under control because you might be highly emotional at the moment and certainly now that we are in Gemini we've just had the full moon on the 22nd so you might still feel the rediments of the full moon. So your psyche might be heightened or your emotions. You might be m more uh, into spirituality at the moment than usual. Now you could also be uh, meeting an other Pisces or an other water sign but Pisces is the prominent prominence of full moon so don't forget Cancer or Scorpio they are also water signs and they can also be psychic and uh, very sensitive uh, as they are water signs you are on the right path the path because the light shines on the path which leads to the northern note so you're on the right path but the moon also means that you're in the spotlight or that you could be in the spotlight in the eye of an other Pisces or an other water sign there are also things that you don't know so you might have to do some more research 
you've also got the white and black pillar the opposites but this is to me also 11 so that's an uh, an angelic door porthole to step through to new things perhaps you didn't know that yet but like I said you've got the ten of wands there is an ending a new beginning and the angels are showing you this by showing you the moon card and giving you the confirmation so there might be a new beginning with a Pisces or uh, it could be a lady but this is just the feminine deck but it could also be a gentleman with a, f a caring nurturing side like a lady sensual handsome be uh, not beautiful a lady would be beautiful so just give the twist on the words something definitely is happening here because we have the Empress and the Empress is Libra okay so there could be an Edra, e Libra in your vicinity or life as well you could be hearing of a birth this could be uh, of a child or a project or you might have invested in something and finally seeing the returns as it has grown and blossomed and now it's going to harvest uh, you have a three so that's creativity and you've got the page of pentacles like I said if you've harvested something then you might be seeing the returns now and the page of pentacles is Capricorn so there could be a Capricorn around you that could you could be meeting it could be a young younger Capricorn than you or a teenager that brings you news this could be about an investment in a job something that's materialistic and for long term and that has durability it could be about love but it could also be about a job At fr on Friday you have the six of wands so look at that I just think it's adorable everybody hailing you in as the champion you've got victory and public recognition you are moving onwards and forwards and upwards there might be a promotion you like I said you are being illuminated so perhaps this person the, the water sign or the um, Capricorn um, uh, or Libra has an eye on you so there might be be hailing you Ooh, I recognize you they might be coming forward to telling you they are adore you okay but you could be moving home or going on holiday and you've got the seven cups to um, confirm that and the seven of cups as we all know are your dreams your goals your wishes perhaps you have success in fulfilling a wish with perhaps help from an Empress Libra or a page of Pentacles Capricorn or and don't exclude any of the other signs but it is prominently Capricorn or the Queen the moon okay a, a, a Pisces now if you don't have any help uh, from anybody or advice um, then which I think you could have could be a mother figure as well because the Empress is a mother earth figure she uh, what she sows she reaps and nurtures so you could get advice from a mother figure um, if it isn't a, a Libra and also um, my advice is uh, to make a priority list the pros and cons see which wish will be fulfilled first okay it could be love it could be a new home could be a job could be a pregnancy so make a list of priorities and see which one could come into fulfillment at this moment and what you want most once that one is fulfilled then you can move on quicker to the next wish or dream this will keep you happy and motivated and keep your uh, keep you focused on your path
like I said, you're on the right path. And this could be very, very appropriate in your relationship. Uh, all I have to ask is, or, and my question would be, um, are you on the right path? Are you on the path together? Okay. Um, do you converse with your partner and see uh, where you should um, do the inf infestation? Is it in a pregnancy? Is it on a holiday or promotions or a new job? On either side or both? You've at the weekend you've got the nine of swords and the nine of swords means that you might have nightmares <laughs> too many to think of and the nine of swords means that you are could mean that you are too much in your head and you're you're uh, thinking too many ideas or you have too many dreams or wishes at the moment so put your worries and your stress and your ideas next to your clothes at night and give it to the divine and the angels they will take care of it and use your wisdom your minds because the swords do stand for wisdom and thinking and mind and communication so if you can't get out of it seek professional help okay but put it next to your clothes and sleep tight and sleep well so that you will be rejuvenated and can get new ideas to solve the issues at hand if you want to pick up the things that you've put next to your clothes at night I think you are also busy with the future as you have the two of ones which path are you going to take which person are you going to take on that path with you do you want to be married do you want to share your burdens or do you want their burdens how are you thinking what are you thinking there's only one piece of advice I can give you there is an ending coming to something again and a new beginning perhaps you have to use your wisdom and talk to your partner if you're hooked up so that you can take um, um, be the, have victory and go up to the next level in your relationship okay perhaps you want to move in together or get married or get engaged and make plans together because this is two it takes two to tango I hear so you need to make you need your plans to be in balance with their plans what do they want you've got a life alone and you've got a life they've got a life of their own and they should run parallel like you've got two roads and they have to meet up there's more ways to roam than one but they always meet up you come back to the center point of Rome that is an old-fashioned saying and you're moving up from the six of ones to the seven or seven of ones perhaps you will defend your ideas or you feel that you have to defend your ideas for you and your loved one and don't let anybody else interfere in your ideas with your loved one or perhaps this could be that you f feel that you have to defend your ideas against uh, towards your loved one so talk keep the communication going you can stand your ground you're stronger than you are but don't be too forceful also be able to compromise okay make priorities you have to make priorities your dream if you are together your dreams have to balance with his dreams and find the same path so that you can build and have proper foundations and success 
and you're going up to the eight from the seven of ones you're going up so you can do it you can go on holiday you can travel because that's what the eight of ones means it could also be that everything might be moving rapidly once you've communicated uh, with each other make your plans and come on to the same path and then you don't have to defend your yourself against your partner but only the outside world you only have to defend yourself and your partner because you're on the same path you're on the same planet and everything will go rapidly it will not rain it will pour you will get news this will be through email text message e uh, or telephone but things will be going boom 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 you might be moving in together okay you might be moving in together you might be traveling together you might go on honeymoon you might even start getting pregnant if that is you might start a business on your own success is yours and remember passion passion that's your romance card but passion doesn't last so if you want to make this last this relationship then certainly with fire signs because you've got a lot of fire in your in your uh, reading then make sure you know each other's boundaries and make it clear that you know his boundaries or their boundaries and let them know your boundaries make this passion grow into a long-lasting relationship allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and get that balance now the angel feather uh, you have is the peach feather and secret desire well that is your wish that is your wish and you've got the peach feather now secret desire the angels are aware of your innermost desires and dreams hand them over for safekeeping what did I say that's why you most probably have sleepless nights handed over to the angels and the divine the peach angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of secret desires peach is a mixture of yellow awareness and pink body and heart the angels are aware that people often keep their most intimate secret desires close to their souls or to the heart they are here to assist with your desire so that it does not weigh heavily on your heart it is time to surrender and release the secret desire to the angels for transmutation the soul is advanced when one truly releases control this is per particularly important with something that has been held secret and hidden talk to your angels about this just like you would your best friend and feel the freedom from doing so the angels ask you to remember that when the a secret desire is released then returns it is heaven's sent so it will return and they will hear you and your prayers will be answered now you can eat desire uh, you can eat a uh, peach you can meditate on peach you can wear peach and the affirmation that you can say is it is safe for me to let go of my secret desire I'm releasing my secret desire to the angels for transmutations there you go that card when I said divine and angels and the card of dreams desires so let it go beautiful 
and trust it. Your angel is Archangel Haniel. Okay. Archangel Haniel, the angel of the heart. So open your heart and the angel of love. And you can use Himalayan salt crystal and peach dolomite and moonstone. So that is your angel for the week, Archangel Haniel. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care Pisces and please share and like with family and friends and I hope to see you in the live sessions Monday, Wednesday or Friday. So stay safe and let's get together in the life. Love you. Bye bye.